It's my feel good breakfast show. Now, over the next few days, we are going to be focusing on the health and development of our children. And when it comes to essential minerals in the diet of children, it is crucial to know what we need to be giving them to assist them with their growth and development. Andrea Duplessy, our health expert, is here this morning to chat to us about the importance of calcium for the development of growing bones and teeth. Hi, Andrea. How are Hi, you? Good, thanks. I see that you've prepared some interesting things here for us today. Yes, lots of vegetables <laughs> on the menu. I know, I know. But before we get to them, tell us why is calcium so important? for the growth and development of children? Well, calcium is the main structural mineral that makes the, the teeth and bones mm -hmm. in our bodies hard and resistant. Um, so we need enough calcium through our entire youth um, to make strong, healthy bones and teeth. Okay, so what will happen if a child's diet does not supply enough calcium? Well, with a severe calcium deficiency, um, the bone tissue mm -hmm. can't develop properly and you sometimes get um, bone diseases and deformity of the bones. Um, luckily, there's lots of emphasis in our diets and many children grow up drinking their milk and yeah. eating their dairy products for, for calcium. So it is important to start as early as possible. Hey? Yes. All right. Now, I see that you have got some interesting things. I see the spinach, I see the broccoli, but take us through why these things are important. Well, if you look at how much calcium we need, the nutrient reference values that have replaced the RDAs, so in other words, how much we need, okay. says we need 1,300 milligrams of calcium per day, and that's for children over the age of um, four and, and to, up to adults. And that would be equivalent to just over a liter of milk. All right. So if, if a child can drink milk, that would be... Um, that's, not, that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. Yeah, yeah, because I love milk, but when I see this big bowl of broccoli right here, this worries me. Is yes. this how much I have to eat to get the, the optimum yeah. amount of calcium a day? Well, if you think of children that ha have dairy allergies, that okay. cannot tolerate dairy, yeah. if you look at non-dairy calcium sources, foods such as broccoli, um, tinned sardines, almonds, and spinach mm -hmm. are, are valuable sources. Okay. But to get to your 1,300 milligrams of calcium, you need to eat all that broccoli. That's about 2.6 kilograms. Okay. Or you need to eat these four tins of sardines. All right. Or almost 500 milligrams of almonds. Oh, this is easy. I could eat this while well, watching a movie. <laughs> but I think a child will find it difficult to go through that. I know, I know. Um, or if you just rely on one food source and it's spinach, this entire bowl of spinach, okay. you know. But realistically, that won't happen. A child's diet mm -hmm. will have a variety. But if these are some of our best non-dairy calcium sources, it's yeah. a worry to get enough into the child's body. Okay, and this is just this can be incorporated into their meals. It doesn't have to be served raw. You can, of course yeah, not, because no, I think it looks shown. a little bit more alive when it's yes. so raw here in front of us. I, th I think I just wanted to show that it's really difficult yeah. if you rely on one food only. Right to get enough calcium, okay. um, especially if, if a child is allergic to um, milk products, but the broccoli can be steamed, um, incorporated into sauces, covered with a, a low-fat cheese sauce, all of, all of those nice yeah. things, yes. now, now, we are talking about children, and we all were kids at some stage, and how difficult it is to get kids sometimes to eat their healthy vegetables and those nutrients that they need to get out of it. So what supplementation can you also use and incorporate into their diet so that they get the calcium that they need? Well, um, Vital makes one in particular. It's called the Vital Kids Chewable Calcium. Mm. And because we know kids like to have fun, yes. um, we've made the tablets in a very cute car shape. Okay. Um, and as we're speaking about how much they need, if a child cannot consume any dairy products, yeah. they need to chew four of these cow shaped tablets per oh, day. Right, so those are for the lactose intolerant children. That's right, All yes. Right. And these tablets are lactose free. Okay. So it's perfectly safe for a child with a dairy allergy to chew these. And I think this looks a lot more realistic. And they strawberry flavour. Nice. They delicious, yes. That helps a lot. Wonderful. So for anybody who's missed some of the tips that you've given us or who wants to ask you questions, they can go to your Facebook page, right? That's right. We get questions every single day. Um, so people can post it on my Facebook page. It's called Andrea Duplessis Vital Experts. Well, there we go. Moms, dads, kids, if you want to get the calcium that you need, make sure that you eat these healthy things. For 30 Rand a year, you can subscribe to the Vitalize magazine and receive nutritional advice, fitness tips and amazing recipes. Visit vital.coza today.